guys my name is Tanya Shafiq and my matrix number is B08191024 ok today I'm going to talk about this ok today our group will discuss and introduce about the circuit simulation and calculation of our work assignment our project is about the application of capacitor for emergency light circuit the components on our project so the change is we use one capacitor for 4.75 microfarads and two resistor and their value are one is uh, 330 ohms and other one another one is 860 ohms and also we add a switch I will talk about capacitor the capacitor is capable of storing some electrical energy that could discharge and use for a short amount of period one of its many application is as an energy storage bank so it's similar to battery in this project we will be demonstrate about how capacitor is capable to store and use the store energy in the circuit which means that uh, when capacitor is charged by uh, energy, electric energy it will have store the charge energy and then we will cut the uh, supply from the switch and uh, the capacitor energy, electric energy is discharged throughout the circuit ok in particular case we will stimulate how it is applied in the emergency circuit light circuit that we built that could benefit from the use of capacitor ok see on our light emergency light circuit to detect it uh, we can know that if the capacitor when an overload incident it will cause the main circuit to trip and lost connection Nano suit activated I will explain to you how the I do the calculation for the circuits when I want to know the value uh, when the capacitor is fully discharged and when the capacitor is fully charged okay, first uh, as you can see in the circuit on uh, the right resistor which has a value of 860 ohm we consider that uh, the resistor as a LED so, uh, we have stated that the LED needs 3 volt to flow through the resistor. And then, um, the main point of the calculation is to know the value of the capacitor. And then, we can calculate the um, time needed for the capacitor for, for to fully discharge and fully charge. Now, the circuit has uh, given that time to the capacitor for fully discharge is 60 seconds and then the voltage in the LED which means uh, the voltage in the resistor is 3 volt and then I have calculated the uh, resistor total resistor uh, are equivalent is 1190 ohm okay, since we know that the resistor of 860 ohm is 3 voltage 3 volts so we can calculate the voltage through the 330 ohm resistor since uh, it's parallel to each other. So I calculate and I get 1.15 voltage, 1.15 volts. Then we can calculate the VAT, the voltage 
time for 60 seconds, the total is 4.16. And then, since we get the value of uh, since we get the value of the voltage, so we can uh, find the value of capacitance using the formula of discharging capacitor. Vt equal to V naught exponent negative T over RC. Since Vt we get uh, 4.15 voltage and V naught is the um, supply voltage 12 volts in the circuit. So we put the value to the uh, equation and then we use uh, log E uh, uh, at the left and the right side log E also known as the ln E uh, ln. and then we get the value of the C is 47.5 millifarad when we get the value of uh, the capacitor ok guys, since we know the value of the capacitor when you use the formula of this charging now we can uh, know we can calculate the time needed for the capacitor to fully charge uh, either uh, charging so to find the uh, value uh, of time needed for the capacitor is fully charged we use the formula tau equal to RC then the resistor um, we use is 330 ohm since the when we want to know the capacitor to fully charge, we switch, we change the switch uh, and connect the, the circuit with the voltage supply. So, we using the formula tau equal to RC. So, R is 330 ohm and the capacitor value is 47 for 2.5 Lipara. Uh, for the first tau, we get 15.68 second and then um, we want to know until it reach 5 tau so we proceed with 2 tau we get 31.25 second 3 tau we get 47.03 second for 4 tau we get 62.7 second and then lastly we get 5 tau 78.38 second that's all. Thank you. Com check. Com's working fine, lad. Copy that, Tanaka. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Tik Nabi Ilman bin Rosli. My metric number is B08191033239. Today, I'm going to explain about the construct circuit of our project and the simulation of the circuit. Okay, now. We're using the FastTat uh, simulation at FastTat.com to construct our circuit. So now we can we can put out the voltage source. We use uh, we use the voltage source to terminal here. Okay, and then we use also the component resistor, one resistor here and one resistor here and. We use also the component uh, SPDT as a switch. This SPDT uh, represents the contact relay. The contact relay will switch to the emergency light circuit uh, when there is a overcurrent uh, value inside uh, flows in the circuit. Okay, now we add also basic component that is capacitor. So capacitor here. So now we can uh, connect all the component using the wire. So we connect this. We connect the power source with the SPDT, and also we connect the negative terminal with this resistor. As usual, we connect all the components to make it work. Okay, like this. Okay, now I have uh, changed the value of the capacitor. We're using 47 microfarad. 
and for the resistance R1 and R2 we're using 330 ohms and 860 ohms okay now let's run uh, the simulation for charging the capacitor Okay, now we can see at 1.3 minute, uh, the capacitor has charging almost 69% from the power source and from the calculation, it might be not uh, accurate because there is a difference between the simulation and the real time. So, almost we almost get 99% charging for the capacitor. Okay, now um, we will start for the discharging and we will see uh, how, how long it takes to discharge. Okay, we switch off. The, we switch the SPDT and we run. So we can see the result after for the simulation of the sixty second. We started at one point three minute after the, the charging stimulation and now we add 2.3 minutes after we discharge the capacitor the capacitor has been discharged almost 95% or above 95% uh, as usual we can get a really accurate uh, result because there is a difference between the simulation and the real life Hi everyone, my name is Amir Ashrabi Ismail and my metric number is B081910122 So for my part, I'm going to explain to you about RC circuit of charging and discharging graph So stay tuned For the first one, I'm gonna explain to you about the graph of charging So this is the graph of capacitor when fully charging and for the y axis is referred as v which means the vol the value of voltage while x axis is referred as t time constant the maximum value of voltage is 12 volt because when the capacitor fully charged the voltage in capacitor is equal to 12 volt same as voltage supply and for the time constant needed for capacitor for fully charged is 5 tau and for the oh yeah why the voltage drop at 1 tau at here is equal to 7.5 volt okay let me explain to you about it because the value of voltage for 1 tau is equal to 63.2 percent of its maximum capacitor voltage that's why we get the value drop at 1 tau is 7.5 volt that's all for charging graph next let's move to the discharging part let's go so as you can see this is the graph of capacitor when fully discharged the concept same as the charging part which means Y axis is referred to value of voltage and X axis is equal to T, time constant. The time needed for the capacitor fully discharge also same, it is 5 tau. Oh, and now why the voltage drop at 1 tau is equal to 4.4 volt? Haha, <laughs> it's a little bit confusing but let me explain to you. The reason why we get the voltage drop at 1 tau is equal to 4.4 voltage because the value of voltage for 1 tau is equal to 36.8% of its maximum voltage 
So that's why we get the 4.4 voltage. Mm, so that's all from me. I hope you understand and enjoy it. So see you and have a nice day. Bye bye. Hi, uh, is anyone home? This is Scott Lang. We met a few years ago at the airport in Germany. Got got really big. Is this an old message? Ant Man, Ant Man. I know you know. I know you know that. That's the front door. That's me. Can you buzz me in? So, from the simulation performed, we can observe that during the charging period, capacitor is connected to the main power supply until it was fully charged. When it was changed to be used for the emergency circuit, like the intended use, which is when an overload occurs, where the LED is represented by the 860 ohm resistor, the capacitor loses charge over time and slowly reduces to zero as per calculation intends it to be. Now, this circuit could be improved by having a higher capacitance value for the single capacitor like if using a super capacitor or an ultra capacitor or by stacking together a number of capacitors to reach a desired capacitance value in series on the circuit which may cost less as high value of cap single capacitor costs a half Doing this will increase the amount of time taken for the capacitor to discharge and provide a longer working time for the output, which is the LED. The other modification that can be done is by applying a transistor in case user would like the output to stop working at a certain point in time rather than keeping the light to dim off over time. This is due to the ability of transistor to cut off the circuit when voltage supply reaches a certain value higher than zero. One other thing that could be made better is to incorporate a voltage regulation circuit that can step up voltage as it drops in order to provide a linear increase in current output to deliver a constant power output. And that's it for the discussion. Now on to the next one. To summarize this task, we can conclude that a capacitor could be used as a replacement for a rechargeable battery for its ability to store power to be used again. Voltage value increases in the capacitor as time goes by during the charging process and drops over time during this charging process. The point where the slope is at 36.8% of the voltage passes to or out of capacitor is called tau, and from there, capacitor takes a longer time to charge or discharge. Time taken in second for a capacitor to be 99% discharge or charge is calculated by the formula T equals to 5 tau, where tau is the value of resistance in the circuit multiplied by the value of capacitance in the circuit. The formula to determine the voltage inside the capacitor at a certain point in time can be concluded by using this formula. The simulation had proven the theory and calculation done to calculate the formula by simulating a case study of a desired output and from that point, we had proved the functionality of the capacitor capability for the case studies circuit. The capacitor might be able to replace the battery but in most cases, it is not recommended as the power it contains discharges dramatically over time while battery takes a longer time before losing its power capacity but it is a good simple indicator to remind user of the current energy contained at the moment and that's it for the conclusion okay so that's it for our video today and thank you for watching to the end so in these times of hardship i wish you guys all well and Please do your best to live up these days. Okay. Uh, any other comments from you guys? Starting with me, 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 okay. me, me. So Ame, me. Do you have any comments? So if you guys have any question to ask all of us, uh, so you guys can comment at below. 
So, that's it. And any other comments from Daniel Shafiq? Uh, for me, I think we did a good job of this and also assignment reports and we have a little bit of time to uh, do it. Mm. Yeah, uh, um, I admire our effort. And for Imran, are you okay out there? Okay. Uh, okay uh, thank you for watching my video. I hope you are guys. This is what we, guys, I hope we can do. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video. Thank you. And for Nabil, any comments? Anything you want to say to our viewers? Yeah, I gonna I wanna say thank you a lot to my group member for we because without them we can achieve the this uh video and thank for all the questions. Thank you for and thanks to you too. And so with that bye bye. you farewell and again thanks for watching our video. I'll see you soon. Maybe. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye! <laughs>